I feel like I am growing up, I'm 22, and I started putting out music when I was like 19 or uh, 18, and I feel like even though that's such a small gap, you really do make a lot of progress as a human being in those years. Those are like some of the most influential years. I feel like you change the most and you learn the most. Obviously every year we do, but when you're young, every year feels like, wow, I'm a completely different human. And it took me a while to come into my own to um, be unafraid to be myself and to just be unapologetically honest, and that's a brave thing. That's a dangerous thing. I had uh, a different title for the album in the beginning. It was called Moonlight, which is a very special song to me still. And it sort of is like the centerpiece of the album a little bit. But I wanted to change the title because I feel like Dangerous Woman is more of an anthem, really. I feel like it represents more accurately where I'm at right now. And it's a stronger, more direct, title that I feel like encompasses the body of work more. Whereas Moonlight, I feel like, sounds like something I would have put out in the past. This sounds like what the album sounds like, which is a mature, sexier, more forward album for me. Did half of the album with Max Martin, and I did a lot of the album with my friends Tommy Brown and Victoria Monet. And um, it was really nice because I feel like the two producers that I worked with mainly on this album understand me so much as a human being that the fusion of the two sounds kind of just made for one perfect, like, dream sound for me. So working with Max is and always has been a dream. He's so talented and so chill and so humble, which is so refreshing because a man who's been as successful as he has in pop music for him to just be as cool as he is is so amazing. I love it. He's like a friend. I love the verses so much because there's just, it was just right where I was at when I recorded it. That was where I was at here. Um, the whole, don't need permission, make my decision to test my limits. I was like at a pivotal point in my life where I was making changes. I was doing what I felt in my gut. I was listening to myself and it felt so good. And I felt so empowered as a person in the lyrics. The song met me at the right time in life and it was just the weirdest, most cosmically weird thing. And yeah, so the, the verse lyrics make me like super emotional because I feel like I can super relate. It was a really insane week. There was lots going on, you know, the first day you meet a million people who you have watched religiously on the show and you meet Lauren and you meet everybody and they're pitching you ideas and then you have your promo shoot and you have all this going on in the first day. and. And then the next day there's rehearsals and there's table reads and there's things and there's so much going on, but it was the most fun I've ever had in my entire life. And as overwhelming and insane as it was, I would do it every week if I could. It was my favorite thing ever. All right. I was so excited to perform, mainly because my fans have heard little bits of Be All Right over the past like year. Because the night that we finished it, we sort of like Snapchatted us like partying in the studio, like dancing around to it because we were so proud of it. It's one of my favorite songs on the album and it really is, it's super uplifting and really empowering and the thing I love most about that song is that it really does make you feel like everything's gonna be all right. So cheesy, because that's the line in the song, but it really does make you feel that way. It makes me feel that way. And I want it to make my fans feel that way as well um, because everybody has a fight, everybody has a battle, everybody has a something that people bully them about or you know, everyone's been stepped on at one point or another and that song is sort of just like, You know, we're gonna be all right. I am uh, attending. I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for d telling you that right now, but I'll be there and I'm singing. Sweet. There you go, I just gave you a huge one. <laughs> Performing at the BBMAs, guys. At an award show, there are so many artists in the audience that you listen to and that you admire, and it's like, can be so nerve wracking, you know? Whereas at a concert, you know, that every person in that audience is there for you. Their usernames are probably like, 
Ariana, dangerous puppy, like whatever. So you really feel a lot more comfortable when you're doing your own sort of show. But the award shows are really fun as well because it's another chance to show a different side of yourself to the people who aren't those fans. You know what I mean? It's another opportunity for you to say, hey, here's a song that you might like. To get amped up for the big show, go to Music Choice On Demand and select the Billboard Music Awards category. Hey guys, I'm Ariana Grande, and I want to give a lucky fan a special gift signed by me. Go to Music Choice On Demand and select Brand New This Week for all the details. Quenched. <laughs> you know how people say, like, oh, she thirsty, you know what I mean? I think it's so funny if you'd be like, nah, bitch, I'm quenched. <laughs>